got to be pretty special to get into the SHOT Show Media Day. It's held at a range out in the desert and it's where all the stuff we get to talk about in the SHOT Show itself, well, we get to use it. OK, so this is the US. You'd expect it to be a bit heavy on the military and the tactical. Look harder and there are new launches in the sporting market. Here's one for the deer stalkers. A few years ago, Winchester brought out the Extreme Point bullet with its oversized polymer tip, which promises large wound cavities and so greater knockdown power, especially on deer. More and more landowners and governments are going lead-free, and to answer this, Winchester has brought out the new version. It's the lead-free version, the Extreme Point Copper Impact. Big game hunters uh, already know the Extreme Point ammunition. The philosophy behind the extreme point, it's a bigger tip for a bigger impact and a massive knockdown power. So this year we just decided to develop the range and to follow the trends of the market and the desires of our consumers offering a lead free version of the extreme point. So basically we keep the success features of the extreme point. So if you look, the tip is much wider than on classic, classical soft point bullet. So usually for a soft point bullet you speak about 8%, uh, the, the tip is 8% of the total diameter of the bullet, in that case it's 48. Plus you have a huge uh, hollow point, so the bullet tends to expand really fast. Uh, and uh, of course the new version, the copper impact, uh, is not just a substitute to lead. Uh, you have other advantages uh, offered by this technology, so with a copper bullet you have a nearly 100% mass retention. And is it very expensive? No, it's, it's not. So, for instance, if you take the most common calibers in the UK, I would say so the, the 243 uh, box will be 35 pounds. And if you take a 308, it will be around 50 pounds. One of the stories here surrounds a fairly new caliber. It is a mark of the success of Hornady's 6.5 PRC, launched a couple of years ago, a short action combination, long range match and hunting cartridge, that the gun makers are bringing out rifles in this caliber. The Mauser M18 launched last year came in six popular calibers. Now it's available in 6.5 PRC, showing that Mauser reckons the caliber will catch on. And Ruger has brought out a rifle in that caliber too. Uh, Browning is going to have some rifles in 6.5 PRC. I'm sure there'll be some others uh, come online. It's, it's kind of taken off in popularity lately, especially in the, the hunting areas. Yep. You know, so, and you can build it in a shorter, you know, lighter weight rifle, so it really gives you the best of both worlds. Other hunting rifle launches at the show include one from Christensen Arms, a new bolt action from Daniel Defence that they claim is perfect for hunting, and this from Savage. The High Country, Model 10 High Country. We use components from some of the older rifles as Model 10 High Country. It's got a PVD finish, which is a... Oh, I forget exactly what it stands for, but it's, it's stronger than Cerakote, much more durable. It comes with a fire, uh, spiral fluted bolt and rifle. English is so hard today. Yeah, but uh, anyway, threaded muzzle, uh, magazine, it comes with the Accu stock, where you, and also with the adjustable comb and butt, and butt stock. Seven pounds plus whatever optics you put on it. It's going to be all from about 300 wind mag down. This one is a 6.5 Creedmoor. Meanwhile, Winchester has been working on the new rabbiting rifle, the Wildcat. It's a 22 long rifle, semi-automatic. So it's a fun, fast, rabbit shooting, blinking. Yeah. Is that the idea? Absolutely. I've taken it out and shot a couple hundred rabbits with it. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. It comes with some fun features. So in the future, we intend to, to have accessories, hopefully, where we, we can fit a, a box of 22 long rifle rounds oh. in there. So we'll have, a, we'll have an accessory that will allow you to have a, an extra magazine stored in that little cabin there. By pushing this button in the rear, the whole bottom assembly can swing out like so. And some of the, the advantage of that is it allows you to be able to clean the gun from the, from the rear as opposed from the muzzle, protecting your muzzle. It also has the little tools uh, inside of this the lower receiver that allows you to adjust the sides to take the stock out. The whole gun can be disassembled with just those two tools there. The magazine, by pulling on those two side rails, you push it back and it pops into your hand there. The gun has a feature to where it locks open on the last round, so when your magazine is empty, it locks back. But you know that, that you're out and to, and to reload. It can be the gun can be closed after you after you put a new magazine in by either pulling the cocking handle back or by pushing the button here on the side. That will close the bolt and you're ready ready to shoot again. 
Not much for shotgun shooters at this year's Media Day, but there is something for lovers of red dot gun sights. This is the Acro P1, so this is a professional sight. It's a 3.5 MOA dot on it. Uh, we have a battery 1225, so it's a one and a half year on settings number 6 out of 10. On this P1, the first four is uh, NVD night vision, and then we have six daylight settings. This year's shot show looks pretty packed. It looks like the gun trade is in rude health. And if there's an overarching story here, it's probably about technology and how that marries up with good quality kit. So, let's talk to Zeiss. Well, they are good looking binoculars. Uh, they feel like a binocular, they handle like a binocular, they are lightweight like a binocular. But if I take my fingers away, you see two buttons here. There's a ton of electronics in here. The range finding binocular from Zeiss. They feature Bluetooth connectivity and they range from 11 to 2,500 yards. So basically we're now combining the state-of-the-art optics with the state-of-the-art digital technology so that the customer has the best of both worlds. And that's the huge benefit here. Digital is a huge part of Zeiss growth. Not just Zeiss sports optics, not just Zeiss consumer products, but Zeiss big Zeiss. The binocular uses Bluetooth technology. You can set up your device within our Zeiss hunting app and you can decide how you want to see data for example. Let's add a configuration. Here you can see you can see the range. We add the equivalent horizontal distance, the hold over in MOA. That is we save this. Now we have saved the information, we swing it to the device and this is what the user will see when he ranges. So this is the binoculars took me to your phone. Are we going to get to a stage where the phone then talks to your rifle and your rifle scope? And is that the direction you're going in? I cannot really speak to this part right now. However, you have a lot of versatility with the scope because you can set up nine custom ballistic profiles uh, in the scope. Therefore, you are independent. And think about it, if you hunt, most of the time you scan first before you see something then you range and then you switch to your gun. This may not be true all the time, but for most hunters this is the case. Uh, we have to bring digital technology into our world because it keeps coming, right? So why? What, what, is, what does Zeiss want to do? Well, Zeiss wants to use digital technology to give you a better in-use benefit, give you better results in the field. Whether that's making the right shot on the first shot, the cold shot out of the cold barrel, we want you to make that first shot count. What kind of what kind of hunter are we talking about? A, an old guy in his 70s, a kid in his well, 70s? That, that really is a great question. I, I would hate to categorize this into anybody, but basically it's probably going to be someone who's more advanced in their shooting and hunting desires. Uh, they want to challenge themselves and their equipment. They want to find out just how good this Magnum cartridge is or just how effective this new bullet is. And so this device allows them to get all the data they need from the field, including weather, get and capture it all into a shooting solution. They make their adjustments, and the desire is one shot, one hit. And uh, whether you're shooting or hunting, this product has its application. Yes, the, the range finder has a built-in weather station pretty much. So it compensates for angle, temperature, and altitude. And that combined with your personalized profile gives you really the best output in mil, clicks, MOA, or inches the way you want it. Other people at the SHOT Show are big into their technology, but we met one guy at the media day, while he might not be so keen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Some people you just can't reach.